the Church of England has signed a name that we are net zero carbon by 2030. The Church has set criteria for what they mean by net zero carbon. So we are fairly clear which areas we're looking at as a priority. So we know what the problem is, but we're now obviously looking for solutions. Durham University approached us because they were talking with the Church of England about this potential project um, and basing it in Durham. What we're looking at is how do we decarbonize their heating specifically. So the Church of England is like many of us. Uh, our main carbon footprint actually comes from our heating bills. And that's principally because they've come from uh, utilizing fossil fuels as their primary energy source. A lot of the buildings that the Church of England owns and we operate are historic. There are some restrictions as to what you can do and what you wish to do to the building. So I think these are probably our main issues to overcome. And I think that's where the research is coming in. So what we've done is we've gone into various churches and what we've done is we've instrumented those buildings. We've put sensors in various parts of them. We have 50 located across Durham itself and we're recording data on what happens inside the church in terms of its temperature and humidity. What we've then done is we've started to build uh, computer models or so-called digital twins of the churches so we can analyze how those churches perform as we do different changes to those. So, so for example, we might want to put uh, a heat pump into a church, we might want to put more insulation into a church, and what we'll be able to see is how those buildings change and how the perception of how those buildings feel inside changes. So while we're really excited to be the pilot for this, I'm really glad this funding was available to the Church of England because there's many smaller churches who do not have the professional capacities or the money to spend on advisors. So what happens here at Durham Cathedral has huge significance for other buildings in the country. So the EPSRC funding has enabled us to bring a team together uh, in order to understand this challenge and how to take it forward. I don't think we would have been able to do this without the funding. Uh, the funding has enabled us to have the key people and made that possible. The Dome Cathedral has always offered a very warm welcome and I'm really looking forward to keeping the warm welcome but to do so with less impact on our planet.